guys, it's Krista with Saddlebox, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you step by step on how to teach your horse how to pick up their feet. So here we have BLM Mustang Nevada, and he is four years old, and he is just learning how to pick up his feet. So the first thing I'm going to do with him is um, make sure that he's okay with being touched on his feet. Um, never just go right in and start touching their feet because you never know the kind of reaction they might have, especially for a horse like him who has been unhandled. Um, so I'll just take a whip like this one and start at his shoulder right here, work my way down. And typically when you first do this, um, your horse will probably have a reaction if they're unhandled. So what you're gonna do when they have that reaction is just wait here, um, keep rubbing, keep rubbing, you know, stay with them if they walk around. And then once they hold still and kind of relax and you'll take that pressure away and then you'll bring it back, rub, take it away bring it back, just like approach and retreat. And so eventually by doing that, all this will become normal to them. So another thing I'll do is I'll just kind of take this little string at the end of this whip right here and kind of go like this, let it wrap around the legs. Basically the name of the game here is to get them really used to being touched before you go down there and touch their legs. So you, wanna, you don't wanna sneak around uh, at this point. You want to be pretty pretty um, loud and consistent with what you do. You don't want to tiptoe around them. So I do this with both back and front, just really rub all over, just to get them prepared for when I go down there and start touching them. So once they are good with that point, then I'll start to uh, go ahead and touch them myself. So generally I start right here at their neck. You never want to just, you know, walk in and try to pick up their leg. You want to kind of let them know you're coming. So I'll start here at their neck, rub, and then I'll just kind of continue that and kind of quickly just touch their leg like that. So if they have any fear about it, it's pretty much already over. Just like so. Good. And this is basically the, the reaction you're looking for when you first do this. You just want them to kind of not really care and just be pretty relaxed about it. <laughs> so then eventually you can kind of start rubbing more and I always like to face forward just in case um, you know something were to happen and they shoot forward I can easily get away opposed to me facing back here where I might get kicked so I'll face forward and just kind of rub good so then once I can touch on their legs and rub down here I'll start to use my 14 foot lead rope I have here. And the reason I like to use this opposed to rope is because if I wrap this around his leg like this and something were to happen, like he gets away from me or um, he just freaks out, I can easily just drop this in and he's back to a regular lead rope. Opposed to rope where, you know, once you get it on them, you have to get it off of them. So, um, that's why I really like using a lead rope for this part. So what I'll do is I'll take it just like I had it and just kind of start rubbing it all over his leg to make sure he's nice and used to that. So I'll kind of drop it by the fetlock area like so and just rub and then when I'm ready I'll go ahead and take it like this just in one hand and I'll apply pressure and as soon as he picks up his leg I'm going to release. So usually it's not going to be that quick uh, the first time you do this. You're going to probably be sitting here for about five minutes tugging on this waiting for something. Um, you can reward when they kind of start to shift their weight like they're going to pick up their foot. Um, so you want to remember like especially when you're first introducing something new to a horse, you want to reward the try. Um, so if he were to just barely shift his weight just like that, I'll go ahead and reward. But because he already kind of knows this stuff, I expect him to pick up his foot. Just like that. So once you're able to pick up your horse's foot with just using this rope for a few seconds, then you can start going in with uh, your hand. So just like I did when I initially uh, touched his foot for the first time, I'm gonna come in by his neck, start rubbing down to his shoulder, rub down here, then I'll apply a little bit of pressure at his, um, near his foot, and I'll just pick it up for a second and drop it. One mistake I think a lot of people make is 
when they initially pick up the foot, they want to hold on to it because their horse is, you know, they picked up their foot for them. But you have to remember, you have to reward it um, and gradually build on it. So if your horse can pick their foot up for one second, then uh, maybe start asking for two seconds and then three seconds and so on and so forth. I'll go ahead and go back in and I'm gonna start at his neck, go down to his shoulder, right here, squeeze a little bit, pick up his foot and set it back down. Good. So basically the reward for the horse is you setting their foot back down. Um, that lets them know that they did good. And like I said, you can eventually uh, build on that and hold their foot up for longer and longer periods of time. So once you can hold their foot up for say 10 seconds, you can start to kind of um, act like you're picking their feet out or kind of bang on their foot so they get used to the sensation of the farrier. So I'll come in here. up and I'll just kind of squeeze, tap on it, and then put it down. Just like that. And then another thing you can do is pick it up and then start to put it between your legs like this, like the farrier would, and then set it back down and start getting them used to all that. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.